Thank you for joining us today. Let me share my screen. And today we are going to talk about uh, loading uh, menu from the database as opposed to specifying it in the menu editor. So you can see that in this project we have uh, three menus, main, secondary, and welcome. Welcome is what you see on the welcome page and all of them are empty. I uh, removed all items from here on purpose. And when you build our project and open it in a web browser, we can see there is a menu. This is uh, our main menu on the left side. There is our second menu at the top, and there is also welcome menu that consists of just two items. So let me show you how it's been implemented. Uh, recently, we have added a new modify menu event, which is uh, more flexible, and you can basically create the whole menu from the scratch. So what we try to do here, we try to reproduce the menu editor functionality in uh, in uh, our web application. So let me go back to the menu editor and show you an example of how adding an item idea. So you can add an item, you can add a group. Group is just a group name, item. You have the following options here. It's going to be either hyperlink or group. A uh, link can be just the URL that points to external page, or it can be one of application pages. And if it's one of application pages, you can select the table and select the page type. So, and obviously text of the menu item or and if it appears in a new window or not. There are a few other things like icons, or additional styles. We did not uh, implement this functionality right now, but it's something that can be done. We just didn't want to make this tutorial too complicated. But if there is interest, you should tell us, and we can replicate the whole functionality of menu editor in the web application. So I click Cancel, Cancel here, and let's take a look at that uh, database table. right here and see what it does. Let me sort it by the menu name. Okay, so these are items that go to our main menu. And there are some groups. There are group one from main. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, next group is uh, parent group to main right here. And if we click and modify, for instance, uh, group name, we can see here that you can specify what menu it belongs to. That is easy. Uh, what's uh, text appears here. Let's change it and see how it reflects our third group. And I click Save. I will have to reload the page because this event is only executed once and it says our first group. OK, I hope it makes sense. And uh, obviously, we can add uh, more items. We can add new groups. For instance, let's see if we want to add uh, uh, there is customers table here. And there is group number two. So let's uh, add a new one new item, and I'll explain how it works in the code. So we have uh, customers, and menu name is going to the menu name. Type is going to be hyperlink. 
parent. Parent is a group name that we add into. It's going to be parent group to main and link time is going to be application page. Now we have, uh, we don't want to open it in a new window, but we want it to go to the customer's table and let's, it's going to be the list page. We click save, reload our page and it is, this is our customer's table right here. Okay, uh, and the same idea applies uh, uh, to the welcome page. We just need to modify our menu named welcome. Okay, let me see if, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat uh, at any time and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. And Okay, uh, that's uh, our welcome page and we only have one group and two items here. And if you take a look at the menu builder, we, that's all sorted by uh, menu item. You can see we have three items here, right? Right here. And uh, one of them is a group. It says top group, and there are two items. One says menu builder, one says the list of categories. And this is exactly what we see here. So these two things, are the main menu, secondary menu, are implemented the same way. We use a modify menu event. It explains that how you can add, uh, you can add a new group, add group. With the example, you can add a new item, at page link, etc. Uh, so we're just basically using this API. So let me show you the actual code of this event. Okay, so this is a modify menu event. Uh, the menu object that we are passing here, I will make it a little bit easier to read. This is our modify menu event and menu is coming as a parameter. So we have three menus here and menu name contains uh, the name of our menu. So what we do here, we execute a select query from the menu table where menu name equals our menu name. So let's see how it works in the database. So that is our menu table. And this is what you need to create in your database. Uh, I will do select all first. And this is the structure that you have seen on the menu builder screen, right? That's the same thing. And now menu name, so when menu name, equals uh, welcome. Uh, this is uh, our three items. And if we do main, uh, the same thing, but just uh, more items. Uh, and now we just go through this record set and for like, we need to reproduce a hierarchy. So we create groups first, and then we assign we assign groups. Uh, we assign uh, menu items, create menu items, and assign them to those groups. And then we start analyzing what exactly we added here. So if it's hyperlink, we check if this is a application page, like list page of some table. And if it is yes, if it's like an application page link, we use uh, function at page link right here. And in case of the external page, which is a link to any external website, we just use add URL right here. Uh, same thing if it's uh, open a new window, 
is set to true right here. So for menu item, we specify open new window to be true. This is also in the manual. So we use three functions here. Add page link, add URL, open new window. And if it's a element, our element is a group, we add a group. So it's a, it's kind of pretty straightforward. You just uh, analyze what you have in your database for any specific menu. And based on that, we just uh, add groups and add elements to the groups, analyzing all those uh, options. So it's pretty straightforward. And if you use it in your project, uh, you basically just copy and paste this code. I don't think you need to change anything, uh, assuming that you will connect uh, that uh, uh, that the same table, same menu table. If you use the same menu table, I mean, it can have the different name, then you have to change the table name here. And uh, uh, it's just uh, desired to have the same database structure. You sort of want uh, to have the same database structure, so you don't want to change much. So this is the easy part.